in this video we are going to continue with the same project we are going to add dependencies in this project inside your config for this go to chrome write maven repository enter click on the first link maven repository write here spring core the first dependency is spring core search go here spring core scroll down and 6.0.12 latest version of spring we are going to use latest version of spring copy it and then go and paste inside the dependency tag of xml file control p control shift f and control s here the maven dependencies are loaded now the next dependency is go to your maven write spring context click search go to context the same version should be there let's click it it will be copied automatically go to your pom fill and paste it control shift f control s files are loaded all the jars are there now we can close close your pom file app now let's create a class test class i'm going to create a package like basic dot core as is my first application in this we are just going to create an object that is my core and name is my test class and finish now right click let's create a pojo class like employee finish let's create the instance variable private int employee id some private string name now let's create or generate the getter and setter for these two go to source scroll down generate getter and setter select all generate let me just remove this and paste here now let's generate the to string method go to source to string for fields generate okay a class is created let's close it and now let me create the configuration file which is the most important file type xml xml file next you can give any name to this file but i'm going to use the config name now finish go to source you will see your schema we have to just load the schema or copy the schema so go to chrome i'm going to give the com configure.xml file in my description you can copy that schemas all the schemas from there so spring configuration xml file click this is the official docs configuration but as you can see i'm going to show you all the schemas are given like it's not given in full so let me go back and scroll down i'm going to take all the schemas from java to block click configuration scroll down go to config.xml file we need just a schema here you can see xml beans let's copy the beans go to your project 
um, config.xml, paste it and close the bean or save it. For generating the bean, just need a bean tag here. Bean. This is a bean tag where we can create an object where it gen we generate the object. So I'm going to give class is equals to I'm going to tell my configuration class file which class I need. So I'm going to copy the package name and then go to config and then paste it dot after that my class name so that I can tell spring I want employee class object and the bean id that will be emp just going to save it i'm just going to tell you in this video how objects are generated and the explanation will be given in next video okay you can see id emp now go to your text file write the main method i'm going to write main m control space main now i'm going to use a class which will fetch the config file. So I'm going to create new class path XML application path XML application context. It's a class that will give the spring the location of a config file. You can see a config file is below com dot dot spring core dot code just i'm going to tell here i'm just going to copy the package first let me check yes it's right com dot rena so i'm going to copy package name paste it remove the dot and give a slash and then slash the file name config.xml .xml this is the object which is having the config.xml file name for this i am going to create a reference which will be of application sorry application context it's an interface. See, new class path XML application context is a child class which inherits the application context interface. Here, I'm going to use application context C to get the bean, get bean, which I have given in the config file, which is emp. Just we can go and check here from where from here and to call this this bean I'm I want employee classes bean so I'm going to write I'm going to typecasting actually the explanation of this typecasting will be given in your next video it will be an explanatory video for you employee e is equals to then I'm just going to call the toString method. Now save the file and let's run as run Java application. Here you can see an object is created with default value. The explanation for this comes in the next video. Why this typecasting is there. Thank you.